which one of these numbers is an odd one out? 16, 36, 64 or 81? Let's think what those numbers have in common. They are perfect squares, which means each one can be written as a number times itself. So far so good, right? But there is a twist. Let's dive deeper. 16 is 4 squared, 36 is 6 squared, 64 is 8 squared, and 81, that's 9 squared. Notice anything? That's right, only 81 is the square of an odd number. The others, all even roots. So final answer is choice D, 81. One car goes 62 miles in 2 hours, the other 93 in 3 hours. Who is the speed king? Let's do the math. First car, 62 divided by 2 equals 31 miles per hour. Second car, 93 divided by 3 equals again 31 miles per hour. Same speed, different distance. And the correct answer here is choice C. Both travel at the same speed. A light ray traveling through air strikes a smooth water surface at a 45 degree angle to the surface. What happens to the ray as it enters the water? When a light ray moves from a less dense medium, which is air, to a denser medium, which is water, its speed decreases, causing it to bend toward the normal, an imaginary line perpendicular to the surface of the point of contact. And the correct answer here is choice B. There are four candles of the same size, and each has an automatic fire extinguisher that moves toward the flame at the same constant speed. Which candle will be extinguished first? Look at the distance between each extinguisher and its flame. Which one has the shortest path? Do you see it? The correct answer here is choice D. You've got eight identical looking balls, but one is slightly heavier. And you only have two chances with the balance scale to find the heavier ball. What do you do? Let's start by weighting three balls versus three balls. If they're equal, the heavy one will be in the remaining two. If one side is heavier, great. Now just wait two balls from that group. The result will lead you straight to the odd one out. And the correct answer here is choice C. We handed a box of puzzle pieces. Can you figure out what fraction I read? Let's break it down. Add them up. 5 plus 4 plus 1 equals 10 total pieces. Now, just take the red ones, 5 out of 10, that's 5 tenths of the puzzle, and the correct answer here is choice D. Why does a longer, shallower ramp makes it easier to lift a heavy object to the same height? Here's the riddle of physics in everyday life. Push a box up a steel ramp and it feels like a workout, but stretch that ramp out, make it longer and shallower, and suddenly it's easier. Why? Because while the height is the same, you're spreading the work over a long distance. This reduces the force you need to apply it at any moment. The total work doesn't change, but the ramp gives you mechanical leverage. The correct answer here is choice C. In the parallel circuit shown, a battery is connected to three identical bulbs, one in each branch, with equal wiring and no other components. Which bulb will shine the brightest? In a parallel circuit, each branch receives the full voltage from the battery, so all identical bulbs shine with equal brightness. And the correct answer here is choose D. You are given this analogy, doctor is to hospital as, which pair shows the same kind of relationship? Let's break it down. A doctor works in a hospital, so we are looking for a person in their workspace. A teacher doesn't work in the homework, a mechanic uses tools but doesn't work in one, a driver transports passengers, not a place, the only one that fits, a chef works in a kitchen, and the correct answer here is choice A. Where will the dot end up if you follow the instructions? Right, up, left, down and right. Let's trace the path together. Make sure to stay sharp, each move changes the outcome, right, up, left, down and right again. 
Is that where you ended up to? The final answer is choice D. What happens to the water level when a floating ice cube melts in a glass of water? Have you ever wondered why your glass doesn't overflow when ice melts? Let's break it down. When ice floats, it pushes water out of the way, just enough to match the weight, but not the volume. That's the key. Ice takes up exactly the space it had originally displaced. So the final answer is choice A. You buy four gadgets for $400 total. You sell three for $120, and then the last one for $100. What is your total profit? You spent $400, that's your total cost. Then you made $120 from each one of the first three gadgets. Three multiplied by $120 is $360. Then you sold fourth one for $100. Altogether, you brought in $460 in revenue. Now let's subtract 460 minus 400 and the result is $60. So the final answer is choice A. You buy a stock for $50. It rises to 70 and you sell it. The next day it drops to 40 and you buy it again. A week later it climbs to $60 and you sell it again. What is your total profit? Let's break it down. You made your first move when stock rose from 50 to 70 and that's $20 gain. Then you bought it again at 40 and sold at 60, earning another $20 profit. Each trade is independent, so each one was profitable. And the correct answer here is JC, $40. Which hill will give the cyclist the highest speed at the bottom, assuming no friction and no air resistance? A cyclist's final speed depends on the vertical height descended, not the steepness of the hill. A long, gentle hill allows the cyclist to accelerate gradually and continuously without interruption. This smooth descent leads to the highest speed at the bottom when friction and air resistance are ignored. The correct answer here is choice B. Take a close look at this 3x3 three three matrix. Numbers in the first row are 1, 2 and 4. Second row has numbers 2, 3 and 5. And then the third row only has two numbers, 2 and 6. And the missing number you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. A9, B12, C20, or D27. Can you solve it and choose the right answer? The trick pattern here is very simple, but it's hidden in plain sight for most. Instead of rows, we need to focus on columns. In fact, we need to multiply the two numbers at the top of the column to get to the number at the bottom. Take a look at the first column. 1 multiplied by 2 equals 2. In the second column, 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. And I think you know what the missing number is, don't you? 4 multiplied by 5 equals 20. And the correct answer here is to C, 20. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter increase your IQ and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.